Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. So this is gonna be a collect to read. I had planned on doing this, the individual signs y'all today, but it just started raining. It just got me like extremely sleepy. So I was like, let me just do a collect to read real quick. That's really all I got for today. Um, I do have an intuitive message y'all. It's kind of like a dream message too. And I was gonna make a whole separate video on it, but um, I'ma just put it on this video. But basically, um, for some, well, I feel like it's more so like divine feminine, y'all. The karmics, I hate using that word, but basically the person that you know you're not supposed to be with, it could have been um, someone that you were in a really toxic relationship with, basically. You may have cut them off in the physical, but it's like they're popping back up like in the dream realm, um, trying to interact with you the only thing about it is y'all it's like they're trying to change something about their appearance like they're trying to look younger like more appealing to you so be be mindful of that y'all because like if you reject them in the physical reject them in the in the dream realm too but yeah that's pretty much what that was not really sure if anybody else <laughs> got that same type of message but that's crazy it's like they look they trying to look younger like do something to their appearance to make them to make you physically attracted to them Mm. but i'm gonna pull some cards from my little diy oracle deck to see what shows up what messages can i get to the collective right now what messages can i get to the collective right now if y'all see me jump y'all it just started raining it's like thundering a little bit and i do not play with thunder so if i jump just don't even say that <laughs> it's just because i heard thunder but And I'm right by the window too. So we got calm that's showing up here. So I had I had it like a pre-shuffle, y'all. And for some of y'all, you may feel like you're in a sticky type of situation. But Spirit is saying remain calm because you're you're gonna get like the green flag on how you can get out of the situation. Not really sure the 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 details on the, the situation, but know that you will come out of the situation just remain calm tell me more for the collective Ooh, hold on so we got i am ready for new ventures so yeah for some of y'all you're about to um for some people y'all your home or your living situation could change too it's like maybe feel confined or stuck it's like a sticky type of situation you don't know how you're going to get out of it it could be a home or a living situation for somebody but yeah, you're going to be um, moved out of that. Try not to have a negative mindset about whatever this is, y'all. Let me see what else I can get. Tell me more for the collective. Tell me more. So we got renew. There could be an email. The color of blue is very significant too, like that light blue color. Um, but you could receive some type of email that could be the red flag too. It could be just communication. It's like, you're going to get some type of communication or a message, um, surrounding your situation. It's telling you like, Hey, now you can come out of this situation or something. We got renew that came out as well. So ignore it. It's almost like, um, you know how like, um, uh, <laughs> Basically, just ignoring, almost acting like as if you're not really in the sticky situation. Just ignore it. Just know that your situation is going to turn around. But sometimes, you know, when it's when it's like actually currently happening to us, we may kind of start thinking negative. It's like you're so worried about the 3D, like what's going on in the 3D in your reality, basically. So try not to just ignore the fact that you could be in a, in a sticky situation. I know that could be hard to y'all, but... um. Sometimes you got to look at the bigger picture. Like, imagine yourself, like, not being in a sticky situation. You receiving some type of good news to help you move you out of that situation, too. Especially if it's, like, a a home or a living situation, y'all. What additional messages can I give to the collective? What additional messages can I give to the collective? So 
So while we got, and I was shuffling the cards upside down because I was trying to figure out why they was looking like that. But um, we got serendipity that came out. See, with this energy that's showing up here, you guys, it's almost like, um, it's like the, the person in the picture, she got her eyes closed. It's like she could actually be in a sticky situation. She may even feel stuck or stagnant. But it's like closing your eyes and realizing that you're actually where you are where you need to be. I know that could be like really, really hard, y'all. But just know that um, it's like wherever you're currently at watching this, like how I'm here right now doing this read, I'm right where I need to be. So just trust that even though you may feel like, you know, you don't like your current situation, you're right where you need to be. And it's going to change. Look, unseen blessing. There's an unseen blessing that you may not even see coming. Oh, surrender and I mean release and surrender came out too, y'all. Um, y'all. So definitely it's like right now, just surrender to your situation. Let spirit do um its job basically about whatever your current situation is. Try to release any type of like worry to like worry and just like negative thoughts surrounding your situation. Tell me more. Tell me more. So we got new love showing up here. Now, I told y'all, every time I do a read, it'd be something dealing with love. Now, it could be just like a newfound love for something, y'all. But for the most part, it's new love um, for somebody. Whether or not you wanted to see a love read or not, there's an unseen blessing here that's coming in for someone. It could be new love as well. There is a need to stand your ground too. Tell me more. Tell me more for the collective all signs. So we got inspired idea. I feel the page of wands, which is really, really weird. Like what in the world? And I didn't even pull no tarot cards. Yeah, there's a... <laughs> There could definitely be a new start, y'all, for somebody. Someone could be having a... I don't know why I got this energy, but... there's an It's like some a new start is happening for someone, someone, right? But then there's like an unseen blessing within that new beginning. So it's like blessings on blessings. Okay, so... <laughs> You just need to trust that, you know, things will definitely change. So I'm not really sure if, let me see if this is like a whole separate message. Yeah, look, we got the Knight of Wands that came out. Uh-oh. Knight of Wands. So yeah, there's definitely like this rush type of energy that could be coming towards you or you're going towards it. But I do feel the Page of Wands, but also to like the Page of Swords type of energy as well. We got the full card that came out. So yeah, it definitely looks like there's a new start for someone, but there is fear surrounding starting new, but there's like unseen blessings. I do feel like you could be need to trust your instincts as well. There's a need to go with the flow of this new um, this new energy. I'm gonna just say new energy because I don't know for sure what it could be for somebody since this is very general, but trust yourself. It's like this new journey that you're going down this new path so it's like if spirit says turn right, turn right. If spirit says go right, I'm mean, go left, go left. So yeah. Let's see. Tell me more. Look, we got a tower card that popped out. So expect some unexpected changes, y'all. The divine is definitely at work. And I'm hearing divine intervention as well. It's like when I'm when that blessing hit, it's like dramatic. It could definitely um, shock you. Tell me about serendipity. Tell me about serendipity. This fire sign be showing up in almost every read. Um, there's a need to take action, y'all, on a inspired idea. You know, the King of Wands, it, a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or a Sash could be very significant. But, you know, the King of Wands is all about action. So, whatever type of inspired idea that you could have, go ahead and take action towards it. 
Tell me more about the serendipity. Yeah, there's changes that's going to be occurring. Look, the death card and the Wheel of Fortune card came out too. So yeah, expect some unexpected changes, y'all. We got the Seven of Cups. Of course, you have this choice as well with the Seven of Cups. But oh, you know what? Spirit is saying that someone's procrastinating. <laughs> I was like, what? It could be a fire sign, y'all, that it's procrastinating. I don't know what. Yeah. I see Scorpio energy as well. Tell me about unseen blessing. That's too funny. Tell me about unseen blessing. But that's literally what um, the message I got, though. Yeah, someone's procrastinating. Oh, so yeah, someone could be procrastinating on taking inspired action. Tell me about unseen blessing. Yeah, I feel like they're not seeing that this is a blessing. It's like a blessing right in front of someone's face, but they not, they're not seeing it because their own thoughts, they're trapped in their own mind. Like this person thinks that they're stuck, but they're really not. Like she can easily get out. She just needs to change her mindset. That nine of cups was at the bottom of the deck too. So let me see. Tell me about unseen blessing for the collective. These, that rain sound and that thunder, y'all, is making me super sleepy. I'm like, whoa. But I had set the intention to do a read today. So I'm going to just follow through with it. But yeah, we got the Empress. So going back to what I was going to mention, because I was like, I'm not really sure if that's what it is. But yeah, it's like a, the new love, y'all. Somebody could have new love coming in, but it's like more than just the new love. It's like a... um. Someone could definitely be expecting with this new love, with the Empress heart showing up here. And that's why it's saying unseen blessing too. It's like the, the new love, the new person is a blessing too, but then it's like another unexpected blessing <laughs> showing up. That's, what, that's what's coming out though. But yeah, look, Page of Cups was at the bottom of the deck. So yeah. There was something else I was going to say too. And I forgot. Tell me more about unseen blessing. But no, it's blessings on blessings, y'all, with the Empress card showing up here. It's very abundant. What's that? Tell me about unseen blessing. Tell me about unseen blessing for the collective. What is this? Yeah, look, four of wands. Yeah, someone's going to be celebrating here with their new love, y'all. Like, something could move really, really fast, honestly, because, like, it's, like, new love popping in, but it's, like, an unseen, ble uh, unseen blessing within the new love situation, like, the new start. That's what it looked like. I see someone getting engaged, too, by the new love. Tell me more about new love. Actually, I didn't even clarify it yet, but this Unseen Blessing card is definitely giving, like, romance. Um, it's giving good vibes, too. Tell me about new love for the collective. Yeah, look, we got the Knight of Cups that came out. I mean, no, this is a Queen of Cups. So a water sign could be very significant. Tell me about new love. Temperance. Yeah, this is um, Peace and Harmony. This is balance coming into someone's love life, y'all. Tell me about new love. Tell me about new love for the collective. Tell me more. Yeah, there's some insecurities. Yeah, and someone's spine, that keeps showing up too. Um, You could have someone on your, like you could have someone on your radar or, you know, the, the roles could be reversed. But with the world card showing up here, it looks like a new cycle. But it's like things are are going to be very peaceful and calm. A very harmonious relationship or a partnership with temperance showing up here. And yeah, page of swords. So yeah. It looks like someone's looking into a new direction, y'all. But it's like they're kind of procrastinating. Tell me about inspired idea. What is this? Cause it's showing up as a page so it's like the start of something new like very young fresh energy so it looks like this maybe has not started yet for someone but it's coming in so six of wands yeah so spirit saying go ahead and take action on so
some type of idea, y'all, that someone has. You could be wanting to communicate to someone or whatever the case is. I don't know. But it's going to be successful. That's what it looks like. Tell me about Inspire Idea. For, ooh, that thunder's scaring me, y'all. I need to hear from wrap up this read. Um, tell me about Inspire Idea for the collective. Tell me more. Yeah, two of cups. This could be a soulmate connection to y'all, but somebody has in, in, internal conflict. I'm so sleepy. Um, internal conflict about connecting with someone. Yeah. Tell me more about this inspired idea. Why is this here? Yeah, look, seven of cups. So someone's procrastinating. They need to make a choice in regards to the actions that they're, that they're about to take or with the six of swords, it's about them moving on. It's like they already are looking into a direction where they could be wanting to um, move towards, but they haven't really taken the action towards doing so. Tell me about this Knight of Wands. Yeah. Someone's wanting to give into a new connection here. Yeah, Eight of Cups. Showing up here too. Tell me more. Tell me more about this Knight of Wands. I'm not sure if I said Knight of Cups or Knight of Wands when I first clarified it. Tell me about this Knight of Wands for the collective. Yeah, look, Nine of Swords, y'all. Someone's like very indecisive. They are in their head, Nine of Swords, about possibly communicating or like actions. It's like very, it's like a very nervous and almost slightly like clumsy type of energy. That's what it seemed like too. It's like when they come in, it could be like a little clumsy, like fumbling or whatever. That's what it seemed like. But if they just get out of their head, I feel like this had showed up in another way, y'all. But Knight of Swords came out too. It's like someone has already received the answers from the divine. They've been getting all the signs and synchronicities about where they need to, like what they need to do, but they have not done it. And it does look like here you could definitely have a tower moment. It's like if you have not, if you have not taken the action towards change, especially when you are really needing it. Um, I feel like someone could be going against divine order too, y'all. It's like they've been procrastinating for a while. It's like they still trying to make a choice. It's like very confusing type of energy. And I do feel like the divine is going to step in to create some type of tower moment for this person, but. It definitely looks like something needs to change, but they're not really seeing that this new path that they're going down, this new direction, it's like unseen. It's like blessings on blessings, like they, but they're not seeing it right now because their own thoughts. It's like self self doubt or them um, thinking negative about it. I'm gonna pull one from my daily vibes. Actually, let me see what the tower is. Tell me about the tower. Tell me about the tower. Yeah. Tell me about the tower. Yeah, Spirit is saying it's time. Tell me about the tower. I see someone getting new happiness, um, don't y'all? Because it's the outcome, the Ten of Cups. Tell me about the tower. I feel like a part of someone's, um, basically a lot of people, they're getting some type of renewal in their love life. It doesn't mean that you're going to be reconciled with a new person, y'all, but it's just like, just like an area of your life where you feel like it was dead or you lost hope and faith. It's being renewed. It's being restored. So, of course, you have that choice as well, but it's like, why not accept something that divine has given to you? It's like, what? Tell me more about the tower. Tell me more about the tower. Look, Page of Wands showed up here. So yeah, y'all, it's a new start. And this is like a solid new beginning too for someone. Ace of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. This is something very solid. So yeah, I'm going to leave it here. Um, I hope that it was helpful. <sighs> Definitely um, give the video a thumbs up if you found it helpful or insightful, y'all.